but I understand, you know, the discussion, and, and I certainly am, um, you know, we're all sensitive to the fact that, you know, somebody's going to watch a game in TD Garden for the first time tonight, and, and you know, that's why that, you know, I, I don't know if this is fortunate or unfortunate. It's, it's probably more unfortunate because you never want to have injuries, but, you know, we had a lot of injuries, so we got rest kind of because we had to get rest. Um, but I do think in the last week of the season, it's probably a little bit different. Um, but I also understand as, as each team goes about it to try to best set themselves up for the for the postseason, um, the idea and the opportunities to get rest. I'm hopeful, like everybody else, that the extra week in the season can appropriately handle some of those things. But you know, there are some there are some really tough stretches in this, and. Uh, and it is difficult, and you know you just have to try to manage those as well as you can. And if some team chooses to rest their players, then um, I understand it has to be a discussion. But I understand why they do it. Do you think a lot of that has to do with the scheduling? That some of these games just kind of jammed together. I mean, we saw a few tough stretches. Well, we had the some. Season we, yeah, I mean, our December. Our, we we knew going into the year, and I think this is probably what a lot of teams do is they they look at the the schedule and they say, okay, I, we knew December was going to be a monster, and that. You know, on December 30th, we were going to have played six games in nine days. And, and then we knew, you know, early February, the West Coast trip coming back, all-star break, Toronto, Detroit, back, West Coast trip again. You knew that that was going to be really tough. And you just kind of know that in advance, and you try to plan for it the best you can. But again, ours was, you know, some of our decisions were alleviated by the fact that we didn't have guys available because of injuries. And, um, but again, I understand why teams do it, but I understand the dilemma. I think Crowder has taken 56% of his shots from three-point range this year. Um, is that a number that you, you're comfortable with? Is that what you're looking for him, from him? And if, if they're all open, whatever, right? And, yeah. and even if they're lightly challenged, he's a really good three-point shooter. You look across the league at guys that do what he does, that's pretty, pretty typical, you know? And, uh, and I think that that's something that... Uh,